First, start out by laying out three or four slides that you're going to spray your aspirated material on. Next, you will need a 22 gauge needle and a 6 or 12 cc syringe. First thing I usually do is I break the seal on the plunger for the syringe so that I can aspirate easily. Then you attach your 22 gauge needle. Then you grasp the item to be aspirated with the plunger all the way down, insert the needle into the tissue, pull back creating a small amount of negative suction, and then I gently poke changing directions to get representative material, remove the syringe and needle, take the needle off of the syringe, pull air all the way back to approximately the 6cc mark, reattach the needle, take the tip of the syringe close to the slide and in one forceful movement eject the aspirated material. Then to make your smear, I gently hold the slide with the aspirated material between my thumb and my forefinger. I lay a second slide across gently to allow it to disperse the material. Then in one smooth motion, sliding forward and with a slight downward pressure, slide the material on. So for this technique, we are going to use uh, pulsatile aspiration to uh, get material out of the item aspirated. You're going to need a 22 gauge needle, 6 cc syringe, break the seal on the syringe so it's easy to aspirate. You're going to attach the 22 gauge needle. You're going to firmly grasp the item to be aspirated. Um, you're going to insert the needle. Once it's in the tissue, then you're going to aspirate gently in a pulsatile fashion, probably not going more than two cc's of suction. Then without any uh, pressure on the plunger, you're going to remove the needle and syringe. You're going to take the needle off of the syringe, pull the plunger back to six cc's, reattach the needle, and eject the aspirated material onto the slot. We are not going to use any aspiration. We're going to still need a 6 or 12 cc syringe and a 22 gauge needle. First thing we're going to do is we're not going to attach a syringe during the sampling. We take the needle without any syringe attached to it, firmly grasp the item to be aspirated, and you're going to poke gently, changing directions to get representative material, um, and then pull the needle out. Then you're going to take your syringe pull the plunger back so the syringe is full of air to approximately 6 cc's, attach your needle, place it close to the edge of the slide, and in one forceful motion eject the aspirated material.